16 teams whittled down to just 4. Kaiser Chiefs play Tucks in the semis and Stars meet one of the tournament favorites. The boys in blue faced a much more mature Sundowns team who got to the semis by beating Supersport on penalties. Sundowns won the championship in 2015 and Stars were up against what most would say, their toughest challenge thus far. It was a well-balanced and tactical game with both teams creating chances. Stars attacked, looking for an opening and had a few chances but the best chance of the half fell to Sundowns, had their technique been better, they could have been in the lead by half time. Stars, coordinated high pressing game gave Sundowns difficulty playing out of the back and almost punishing them on more than one occasion. As the first half progressed, Stars began to gain confidence and became more relaxed on the ball. Was this a sign of what was to come? Sundowns might have had the best chance of the first half but when play resumed, the momentum shifted. Suddenly it was Stars of Africa who were taking the initiative and coming so very close to glory. Until. Finally. Glory came. Yama with a semi-final scorcher. A fleeting moment of glory. Stars winning the game and playing in the engine final after more than a decade. So looking forward to the big final, 25 minutes time. Amatak versus Stars of Africa in the 2017 Engine Knockout Challenge Final. Good luck boys. A collection of exciting, young talents displaying maturity and tactical prowess. Their blend of silky skill and steel was what took them to the final where they have a chance to win under 18 football's biggest competition. Only Tux can stop them now. After more than 40 games and many, many goals, countless moments of exhilaration and exasperation, at last, the final had arrived.
The final was off to a frantic start with Tux almost taking advantage of the space and time they were given on the ball. Had it not been for the heroics of the star's number one, too mellow, Tux could have taken an early lead. The post also coming to their rescue early in the game. It was one-way traffic after that. With Stars creating most of the chances and Tux being forced back due to Stars of Africa's high pressing tactics. Tux goalkeeper keeping them in the game until this fleeting moment of brilliance, D'Angelo latching on to a great defence splitting pass from midfield magician Niyama to score the opener. A world class goal from a world class pass. Great hit, fabulous goal, lift off for stars. They were limited to playing long balls from range. The defense doing very well to deal with it. Tuck's goalkeeper continued to put up a marvelous performance making him a contender for man of the match. What they lacked in precision, they made up for in perseverance and sheer force. With just three minutes left on the clock, Tux got a free kick close to the half and with their last kick of the game. Goal. Stars players feeling that the goalkeeper was fouled. But the goal stood and the 2017 N Gen Cup final was to be decided on penalties. It all boils down to this. All the training. The sacrifice. The time. The blood, sweat. And tears. Five chances to score. Five chances to save and only one winner. Stars of Africa are the definite underdogs. They haven't been involved in a single shootout up to now. Tux won their quarter and semi-finals on penalties. And are now favorites.
tucks open the scoring with a well taken penalty kick. Niyama steps up for the first star's penalty. He's unfortunate and his penalty hits the crossbar. 1-0 to Tux. Both teams score their next three penalties and the game comes down to this last moment. This last kick. This last chance. If he scores, Tucks win the cup. Sabu gives his goalkeeper a few words of encouragement and sends him on his way. The hopes of the entire academy rest on two Mello's shoulders. He manages to save and sends the fans into raptures. The most courageous player steps up for the next one. Nati has to score to equalize. A high pressure penalty which he calmly slots away. Sudden death. Can Tumelo repeat the heroics from the previous penalty? Great save. The advantage now falls to Star's top man Neo. If he scores, it's all over. He has crowned his team champions after a decade of waiting. Stars of Africa beat Tucks at their own game. On penalties. On this day at Marks Park, the quest had concluded in triumph. Stars were champions. A champion has been crowned. A superstar has been recognized and through the wonder of a game, the country had turned its attention to an academy destined for greatness. Stars of Africa Football Academy, Champions.
All this for a game, a game that for so long has captured the imagination. A game that for years to come will continue to offer possibilities to so many more. A simple game. The beautiful game.